隠したおあおあなおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおo o o o o o o o Um, a lot of money it is. Uh, what do you intend to do?、Perfect. What's your intention? Veneto wa oreo roku supo mizuni nebari. サマーが新しい服を変えと通って目の前の店のドアを指さした早くしろベネット he、uh, he did not look at he look he He did not look at me properly. He, he looked at me improperly and、um, the Nevari Samaga Atara Shifukuo Kae go and buy new clothing.、Um, Lord Nevari, Nevari the boss.、Um, Say to go buy new clothing. Me no mai no mise no doa o yubi saseta. He points and he points his finger at the door of, of the、uh, store in front in front of him. And he say, Hayaku shiro, go do it quickly. Yatta atara shi fuku fuku fukuda. Oh, yay,、uh, new clothes. Ore wa do kao o itsukami.、Um, I grabbed the、uh, itsukami. I, I grabbed, right? I, I, I received,、it. no, I. It is to close、it. your hand around something and pull it toward yourself. So to grab in English does to some extent already insinuate that. Which Skamu doesn't actually insinuate.、Um, Skamu is just to close your hand around.、Um, so to grab, to snatch at. Snatch, this is a fun way of saying it. Snatch is a doll car. He snatches the doll car. He snatches the coin. I fly into the and I fly into the. The store, or it dashes into the store.、Um, Mise no naka ni wa se yu ga chigu hagu no kutsu sta ya.、Uh, inside of the store,、uh, there are.、Um, For this specific、Mismatch. section, we don't, we have not yet hit like the verb. Hit a. Right? Ya is really a verb, so. Wakaru. Shimi no tsuita sukato. Sumi no tsuita sukato. Sugi no atata. Sugi no atata shatsuna doka sume ko mareta o bako ga tokoro semashita 
ところせましとならんでいた。Nice. How do you say on the left and right in Japanese? さゆ。はい、さゆ。Perfect. Inside of the store, the box,、um, the large box that was stuffed, that was stuffed with the、um, with things such as shirts that are、um, patched, that are patched, a skirt that are stained, and、um, Socks that are mismatched、um, of the left and right.、Uh, these boxes, Tokoro Semashito, they,、uh, they, they, they filled up to the brim. They, they, they overflow. Yeah, in this case, it's kind of like they... overflowing throughout the store, probably, is how I would describe it. They, they overflow throughout the store.、Um, they lined up in an overflowing way. Perfect. We never had to read this word. This is shodana. Perfect. The bookcase.、So、how do you say shelf in Japanese? It would be dana. Good guess. So the da part of dana is actually an example of rendaku. So it's actually tana.、Uh, what's this bolded word? Tana. This bolded word is. Chikazuku. Perfect. Can you read this example? Sentence it's an app. Chikazuku is a bird. Example sentence Koto ga kakata tana ni chikazuita. The coat is hang. The coat、um, was close. What's close? The... Hmm. I think I'm thinking about the adjective sky. It's,、hmm. It's approaches. That's a good guess. It's approaching. So you think koto ga is marking the subject of the sentence and has nothing to do with the kakata here? Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's、um, that ga is a relative ga. So it's、right. koto ga kakata tana, the book tana ni. So I approaches, I approach the、um, the shelf that had coats hang. Perfect. In them, like what's hanging with coats, a、right. coat hanging shelf. Yep.、Um, how do you read this word? Uchi. Kawa on the inside. Uchi Kawa. Is it Kawa? You're right. Uchi Gawa, I guess. Gawa. The innards. The interior. Right. It is Uchi Gawa. What's the other reading of that kanji? Do you know? The top reading. Hi. Or the bottom one. The top one. Rather than Uchi, what's、um, the other way you could read it as? You know? Sorry. Nai? Nai? Yep, it is also read as Nai. So, how do you read this word? Nai Gawa? No, it hasn't loaded yet. I'm sorry, no. Ten Nai. Perfect. Ten Nai. The inside of the door. It does mean that. Perfect. Can you read this folded line for me? This is from Uzu. 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 Kurai. Hi. 
薄い薄くらい。ぐらい。連絡。ぐらい。The shadow. I mean, I mean it's, it's dark, but it's slightly dark. はい、slightly dark. Dim.、Um, so I had the、Dim. wrong kanji here. <laughs> Because、uh, this is the first one that popped up when I was making this today. <laughs> this is a ten, not from this. Ten as in a dot. Yeah, well,、oh, no, ten from dot, ten bro. Now it's ten from store. Who would have thought it?、Um, let's go read this example sentence. Usu gurai tenai ni o tenai ni wa dekai. おばこがある。inside of the dim store, there are large boxes, there are great boxes, like huge、yeah. boxes. Super duper large. How do we add sugiru to dekai? Too big. Sugiru is too much, too big. Um, we dropped the E.、Hi. Dekatsugiru. Dekatsugiru. Perfect. Can you read this random sentence for me that had nothing to do with the last couple of lines we were reading? E he wa. This is the guards.、Hi. Koto o karada ni atete mita. Here we have two verbs, ate, and then the te form, and then mita. What does that mean? Ate, te, mita, to look, to look in what way is that? It, to hit. So,、look. mita means to try, as in to do something for the first time normally. Oh, hi. So, it、and、doesn't really add anything to into、hit. the English. Hi. What is the、touch. other meaning of to hit? To touch. Hi. What do you think it's saying here? I try touching the body,、With、touching、what? the coat towards. Hi. I, I touch the coat towards I my. I touch the coat towards my body. My... This is used to say that you take the clothes and you like you hold it up to your body, right? That's what we say in English because you're not actually, but you hold it up to your body and you're just like comparing, like, does this fit me? So, I try to hold the coat up against my body. It's basically what I'm saying here. But I'm saying against, right? Up against. It's atate, because that can mean to touch, to be applied. So, he just kind of presses the coat against his body, the ehe does, in order to see if it fits. What does ehe mean? Ehe. A guard. Perfect. Um, do you know what、uh, pati pati means? Meo pati pati sasete. Meo pati pati sase. I'm guessing pati pati is the lighting up of the eye.、Mm-hmm. Glittering. Yeah, it does come from pati pati that can mean、um, glittering and stuff. In this kind of context, it's probably kind of like you're blinking a bit. Or,、um, like, it's kind of hard, like, you're trying to get your eyes to adjust、um, in this specific kind of context. But pati pati does mean to sparkle and stuff. So, you are right, but that doesn't, that's not what's happening in here. It says, Ore wa me o pati pati sasete, fura tsuki nagara tachi agata, which is while I'm blinking something out of my eyes, basically. I stand up, but I stand up while I am lightheaded. This is right after Bennett punched him in the face.、Um, Furasuki naga nagara.、Okay. That's to be lightheaded. Futsuraki. Furasuki. Lightheaded.、Okay. Furasuki nagara. Tachiyakata.、Okay. I stand up while I was lightheaded.、Okay. So in this case, the pachi pachi is occurring because of the. Usugurai、um, tennai. Let's go read this example sentence. Hi, tennai wa usugurai me o pachi pachi sase nagara. While I was adjusting my eyes inside of the dim store, 
ことがかかった棚に地図近づき I approaches the the shelf or the cabinet that had coats where where the coat was hanging and so no naka no itimai o or imai no itimai itimai o karada ni atatte atete mita i apply or i try to apply onto my body one of those so no naka no one one among them to my a single coat i apply to my body the ka sugi ru and it was too big perfect so tana can mean shelf ledge or rack if you're talking about like a cupboard or something you would add the tana to something else um kind of like shodana means bookshelf for example so here i guess rack would be better because most of the time coats are hanged on racks rather than hanged on shelves um, but if you want to refer to a cupboard type of thing or drawer specifically, you'd use a different word or a word that uses this kanji in the word. Uh, so why not point that out to you? Um, so anyway, let's go start with that first class. Hi. Um, so here, the first class say, Tennai wa usukurai. The inside of the store is dim. Then the next sentence. Meo pachi pachi sasen nagara. Wow, I adjust my eye. Kotoga kakata tanani shikazuki. Chika, right, Mani? Chikazuki. Yeah, Chikazuki. Chikazuki. I approach the rack where the coats are hanging. So no naka no ichimai o. One among them. Karada ni atete mita. I apply. To my body. Right. Basically, he holds it, it up against I is how tried. we say it in English. But it is, I applied it to my body. I hold him up. I applied to my body. So Mani, is it okay if I do like. Is it okay if I do a uh, close or like a. a um, like a raw translation, Mani? Because it yeah. helped me remember the. Totally. The, actual meaning of totally. the vocabulary as opposed to the meaning of the sentence. Totally. So I'm still having a hard time remembering yeah. up there here. I can remember what it means. Um, so this is just mean too big. The yep. kai is, is mean large. It's it is too much. It's way too big. Perfect. Um, can you read this word for me? Ten shoot. Perfect. The so owner. Exactly. So sorry with ten, what did it end with? Shoot. Perfect. Money, can I quickly yeah. do this? the owner of the store when Khan first went to get food to eat? That was a shoot. That word for owner. Shujin. Right. Was it Shujin one? Hi. Like the owner? Yeah. Shujin is owner and Junin was dweller. So the Shu between the two of a general like innkeeper like person and a storekeeper are both Shu, which is definitely going to make it easier to remember which is which. Ten Shu and Shunin. Shujin. Shu. Shu. Refer to a resident. Refer to some occupant. Is Ju. Right. 
Shu yep. is an owner of some sort. Perfect. Shu Jin and and Shu. You know what skameru means? Like kao skameta? Kao skameta. Skameru. Uh, to. Oh, to. Uh, to hit your face? Good guess. Oh no, to Scum miss your face? What are you saying? Yes, Moni. No, I, I want to hear what you uh, thought. To mess is up your own. Yeah, it's to mess up your own face. Like to, to... So it, it's to screw is how we say it in English. To screw up your face. Oh, uh, real quick, Moni. In manga, in pop media, isn't there's the word where the characters say, like, stop screwing with me? <laughs> like stop messing with me. It is not this word. What was that? Zakena. Like what they say. Zakena. Zakena. Totally different word. Um, that is. Um, uh, it's literally stop messing around. I believe like zakena. Uh, Skameru is um to just like to furrow or to scrunch up or to wrinkle something. So if you wrinkle your face, you're screwing it up. You're scrunching it up. But it's not um, the English word "stop screwing with me." I think comes from the fact that "screw" started to become a word to refer to sex, right? Um, and then it slowly became to messing with someone. I think I don't know how the Hi. idiom came to be. But yeah, sadly that idiom does not uh, match because this is not the "screw" as in the "screw" in a "screw." This is the um, scrunch up screw. Furrow. Hi. Disorderly, right? Um, it doesn't really mean disorderly. Um, it, it's, it's just, um, to wrinkle. Um, wrinkle up. Yeah, it doesn't really have disorder as one of its oh. things. I might have told you it meant that because the idea is the face is being all messed up, right? It's getting all screwed together and messed up. Um, yeah, that was the facial expression that nobody made. So rather than saying kao skameru, you can just say this noun right here. Can you read it for me? Shikame zura. Perfect. So zura basically means face and skame from skameru means to scrunch up um so to scrunch up a face can you read this example sentence for me henshu ga shikame zura o shita so shita was suru so the owner the store owner made or shita is made a a uh wrinkled face right a, a, a bunched up face you know how to read this word furi kaeta what does furi kaeta mean from furi kaeru it's one more time it's to repeat something yeah oh that's a really good guy to think about kuri kaisu furi kaesu which has that same um, kanji. That is to do again, to repeat. Furi kaisu. The furi comes from furu, which means to shake. Do you have a second guess for what furi kairu might mean? To shake and then to give back. Love or to it. return. So to shake in a returning like way means you shook your head backward to look behind yourself. I okay. to, to look back. Hi. Hi um, do you know what hikikai is in it? Hiki. Kaesu. Hiki to pull. Kaesu is to pull back. 
turn around. Yeah, close. To return it, to it where you were. It means to retrace your steps. Kikaisu. So yeah, you got those Hiki, weird little returning uh, words. Yeah, Hikaisu is to look back. Um, nan no yo. Definitely something you hear a lot in anime. Nan no yo, which is what do you plan? What are your intentions? What is your use? Nan no yo. Hi. Nan no yo is the thing that do you tsumori. Hi, do you tsumori, exactly. This is more um, colloquial. You'll hear um, people say it a lot in anime. Um, can you read this word for me? Onatenshu. Perfect. Can you read Stop. this example sentence? Oh, no, no. Onatenshu wa furikaeta. This woman store owner turn around. Perfect. Not turn around, but turn the neck. Yeah, but it is turn specifically look, it doesn't whole. it focuses on turning your neck around. Um, you could fully turn around with furikaeta. You'd have to look at context to know for sure. But in itself, just means your head looks behind you. So you'd have to um, look at context what's uh, going on. Any idea what this word is? Uh, nani mono ka? Raymond, nani mono ka? Yep, it's nani mono ka, that's pronounced correctly. Any idea what it might mean? It means uh, someone. Yeah, someone. Exactly. Some person I do not know. Nani mono ka? So, um, this shop owner talks very anime like. <laughs> Random Hi. note. So, yeah, let's go read the sentence. To nani mono ka ni. Uh, this is the shoulder, so it's Hi. kata. Kata o tsukame. Tsukam. Mareta. So here, sukamareta is um, that it was was grab. It was grab on the shoulder by someone. Perfect. So I grab on the shoulder by someone. Yes, someone grabs me by the shoulder. It, hi. Uh, Furikaetara. When I turn around, when I look back, actually, when I look back, shikame sura o shita onna tenshu ga tatte ita. When I look back around, there stand, ita is like there, there exists, so. There stand a woman store owner making or with or doing a screwed up face. Perfect. Shikame Sura. Um, a screwed up face. I, this, this Shikame had the connotation of annoyance, like. It doesn't have to be annoyance, but it probably is. Um, in the last line we saw shikame from Kao Shikameru, it was more of a look of concentration where you scrunch up your face and like, what am I doing? I gotta stick at all my magic. But in this context, it's definitely not a happy look on our face. Um, it's, 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 it's exactly what the word means in English. That in which in our most contexts, it probably does mean to be not happy with someone, but you can be used in other contexts as well, because all we are is describing the facial expression, not the context in which the facial expression was used. Right, for example, furrowing your brows could mean you're confused. Um, Shikamaru would not be used with confusion. Hi. But it's like that, I mean, it could be used actually for confusion. So it's either going to be like confused, trying really hard to do something, or you're angry at someone. In this context, it is angry. Hi. Hey, choto. Choito. This is a slur. Yep, that is choto right Instead there. Say... Choito. 
ちょいと。ちょいと。何の。よだい。はい。よだい is also a question here. So。よだ。あ。is よだ、but then she put an e at the end meaning。Um, yeah, like、a, it's like a ka, isn't it? Question. Yeah, it's like a ka. Nan no yoda. These are kind of feminine slurs. Yoda. What, what's your. What do you want? What do you, what's your intention? Wait, what are you trying to do here? What do you want? What, what are you doing? What's, you? What's, what's the use? Nan no yoda. What use do you have of me? What's your intention? Tazuneta. Tazuneta. Tazu. Tazuneru. Tazu. Orewa. Oi kakete. Tazuneru. Um. He. <coughs> I. Ask a question. I. um... Yeah. Yep. To ask. Perfect. You know, um, this kanji? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nita. What does Nita mean? Neko no ashini Nita. Stoyashi. Oh.、Uh, it, it looks it's similar to. Yeah, it's similar、uh, to. Perfect. Yep.、Yeah. The fat legs of the table are similar to cat legs. Okay, so now we have con talking. これと似たコートあるかな俺はコートを待ち上げて尋ねた。できればもう少し小さいのがいいんだけど。What's this word right here again? 待ち上げて。上げてはい。待ち、ら、待つ、means to wait. Here, though, we have the hand. What is it? 待ち、ら、待つ、meaning to wait. Here, we have the hand. It's もち、ら、もつ。そう、もち上げて。Perfect. I possess. Yeah, lift up. あげて。I lift them up. I lift up what?、Uh, 俺,俺はコートを歩いた。Oh, what does he say first? これと似たコートあるかなこれと似たコートあるかな This is that's a talk as in with money or、はい Nita koto. The, this, the coat similar to this, do you have? Do you have coats similar to this one? Exactly. Perfect. Kore to, kore to, nita koto, arkana. Ore wa koto o mochi agete tazuneta. I ask, wow. Um, I, I, I gave it to her. I agete. Hi, you're right ask, that ageru can mean to give. This is not to give ageru. When ageru means to give, it's going to be te form plus ageru. When ageru means up, it's going to have be part of compound words. So <clears throat> I lift it up. Well,、right. you know, I pull and lift it up. Oh, and I ask, I ask that question. And then he's, he say, uh, de kireba, uh, de kireba, mo, sukoshi, jisai no ga, i, n da kero. It would be good. Um, however, a smaller 
a little bit, mosikoshi, a little more. What does dekiru mean? She's deki mean dekiru. if possible. Yes. Perfect. If possible. There exists. Dekireba, if possible, a little smaller. Mosikoshi. Chisai. No. Uh, a thing that is uh, so, so what why he's using this small twice here you say a little smaller why so you're confusing skoshi and chisai you can see by looking at them that they do have different kanji and that's because they do have different meanings chisai is an adjective meaning small skoshi as you can see the lack of a e or a ku or a na it's not a adjective. Skoshi is a adverb. Skoshi is not little like size. Skoshi is little as in quantity. As in, um, can I get this a little bit smaller? Right? We do the same thing in English. Moshikoshi, a little bit small size. Here he didn't say smaller, he just it's a smaller small thing one that smaller. is a little bit smaller one it is, is smaller ga no ga in the it would be good in, in the kiddo however but he said kiddo here in the sense of it would be nice it would be good perfect also it would be good if there was one that is a little bit smaller. If, if possible, possible, it'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Um, do you know what gomakase means? We haven't seen this in a long time. This is back in like chapter two. Gomakase. Gomakashi. Kashire? Gomakashi. Gomakase. Kata o tsumakatsu. So, itemo osieru tsumori wa nai no de kata o tsukumete gomakashita. I forgot money. Hi. Gomakasu is to deceive or to try to kind of make them think about something else kind of idea. So, here it says, even being told that I had no intentions of telling him. So I shrug my shoulders, kind of deceiving him, trying to get him away from the topic. You know, like, uh, put the shoulder shrug. So gomakasu is to deceive, to pull the wool over someone's eyes. Gomakasu. You know what hipparu means? Hipparu. So he. He could hear me, me, me to pull. Hi. But the but is the helper verb meaning full of? Um, no. no. Um, paru comes from haru, ha, which means to stick normally. Muriyari Hipate Hataseta. Teshita ga chikazuite kite ore no ure o tsukami Muriyari hipate tataseta. I don't know what this hipate Hi. mean, money. Well, let's go break up the rest of the sentence. So we got a minion coming closer to the main character and grabbing the main character's arm. The bodyguard does something to the main character that makes the main character stand up. What do you think he did in between grabbing the arm and making the character stand up? How did he make him stand up? Tsukami, so in between Tsukamu and Tatasetta, Tatsuru, he muriyari, he do something for no reason. That's a good guess um, because we can dissonant reasoning, but we don't need that in the sentence. So we have three verbs in this sentence. Um, just what I was pointing out is what happening in the image. 
The main character's arm is grabbed by the bodyguard. The main I... character is sitting on the floor. His arm is grabbed. The main the bodyguard does something to the main character, which then makes the main character be on his feet. He ta- he, he, the main he character pulled. is standing. Yes. He pulls. He but it yanks. is to pull, to yank up normally, to pull up. Moody Yadi comes from the word moody. Moody means impossible. But specifically, not like this is impossible, but as in, I don't want to do this. To push yourself, kind of. And yadi means to do. So moody yadi means to forcefully do something. To push someone to do something they don't want to do. They do it even though they don't want to do it. So in other words, the minion grabs the boy's arms and forcefully pulls him up to his feet. But it. Um, what does uh, gomakasu mean? To um, deceive. Perfect. Gomakasu. What's the potential form of that? To be deceived. Gomakasu. Hi. Is it Gomakasu. Hi. Gomakasu. Gomakasu. Hard to say. Oh wait, sorry. That is sorry. I want potential form, <laughs> and I just did not put it. What did you say exactly? You might have said it right. Goma kasu. I think I as a form. I say goma kasare. Okay, sare do is passive. Do passive. What potential? What is potential? Goma se. Goma. Goma. Kaseru. Hi, exactly. Goma kaseru. Perfect. Wow. Be deceived. Anji. Goma kaseru. It Go- seems hard, but then when you actually look at it, it's actually some of the easiest kanji. Uh, we have ma yeah, been- from magic. This right here is the transform, like bakemono, which is a monster. Right. And this one right here is like. To say false words, kind of. Like it shows up in siliquay and stuff like that. But as far as kanji goes, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> For like the meaning can be like insinuated from the kanji. Um, oh no. And that like sit it, but they dropped it. Uh, do you know what a furoji is? Furoji. A wandering child, a uh, vagabond oh, kid. Perfect. A homeless child. How do you do potential with negative form with gomakasu? Didn't we use the word vagrant? Like a vagrant? Yeah, you can use vagrant. vagrant. Specifically, it is a child that does not have a home and is living on the streets. An orphan type. Probably. Orphan. Gomakasu. This is potential in my form. So, koma, komaka. Se taranai. That's a good guess. It's just nai. Um, whenever you conjugate past um, dictionary form, it's always going to be do verb for nai. So all potential, all passive, all causative verbs. Once they're in causative form, passive form, and potential form, that form itself is a do verb. It'll, it'll just get the view dropping at nine. Hi. Okay, so here's our last line of the day, unless we're speedy gazelles, and then we'll continue more. De te oiki. What is de te oiki? De te oite is where it comes from. De te nasai. Right? Te form get of order. Out? Yep, get out. The oku is here what? saying, get out before you do so- before something happens. Like, you should already be out, basically. The idea is that get out before I shoot you. Get out before you steal something. Something like that. Dete oite. Dete. You should already be gone. Oiki. Furoji. Daro. Are you homeless? <laughs> Aren't you? You're homeless, aren't you? <laughs> you probably leave 
そうそうあ、あ、私の目はごまかせないよ。Don't try to deceive me. Good guess. Try it on in try here. To deceive me. It says, I... can deceive, cannot deceive. You cannot you can't deceive, dececeive my eyes. You can't deceive me. I don't need no m a You can't deceive my eyes. You cannot deceive my eyes. Yo. <laughs> This is so rude. So on, rude. <laughs> on the. On the. Ten shoe. Ore no ude o sukami. The store owner lady grabs my arms. Doa e to hipote ita. So, what is this ita at the very end? What is that ita at the end, Moni? Is that iku? I believe it's ita like you. You what she's saying? She's saying this as she does that, I think. Oh, so she pulled me towards the door as she was saying the thing,、right. the phrase. Yeah. It's like, hurry up and get outside. You're a homeless kid. Can't, can't deceive me. So, this word right here, I know you know, but do you know how the second kanji is read? Ka. Hi, do ka no ka. Do ka. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Ko ka. Hi. So, ko ka and do ka are very similar words. They both are used to refer to coins. Ko ka is more generic, do ka specifically referring to copper coins, because do means copper. How do you read this first kanji for the、oh. word for coins? Right. Oh, God. Let's go read this random sentence. Dorobo wa koka o nusu nusunda from nusumu. Right. The thief stole coins. Perfect. So, deratsuke is、um, a, to make something to jingle. Jingle, jingle, jingle.、Um, what's the causative form? So, to jingle and to, to make something jingle? Tiratsu. Causative. Sa. Seru. So. Jaratsu. Kaseru. Perfect. Okay, so here's our actual last line of the day. Kaseru. Chikau yo. Kin wa aru te. Hora. Ore wa te no naka no. Koka o. Chiratsu kaseta. I jangle the kane in this context. Kane? Hi, like okane. Oh, kane. King would make、uh, it feel like、hai. it's more like metal. Like, I got some gold here. I don't know. I love this sentence. <laughs> I love how. Kane used the word. I jangle the coins. <laughs> like, Look at all this. <laughs> Here's a jingle. Jingle, jingle, jingle. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Thank you, Ching. <laughs> I say, oh, yo, it's no, it's、chill. not it. No, you're wrong. I, I have money, I say. Look. <laughs> The jingle. God, I have money. Ora, look. Ora, what? Koka o chiratsu kaseta. I cause. The coin in my hand to jangle. Jangle. Jingle, jingle, jingle. Exactly. Hi, hi, hi. 